guys, it is Stu here, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome, welcome. to the party. Yep. Don't knock these over again. What? Um, so what we're going to be doing today, if you've already seen the first part of this video, it's going to be over on Jesse's channel, and it's going to be both of us talking about what we're doing as far as the foil placement and like everything we're mixing up from A to Z, but over here on my channel, we're gonna be talking about toning and styling and everything to kind of wrap up the process after we put the foils in. So if you're interested in continuing watching this hair process, stay tuned. All right, so this is the before that we are working with. Mm -hmm. So she has a really good color going on right here, but we just wanna fix something that's going on in the root, which is some regrowth. And then we have some brassier pieces. So you can see here, we're gonna to try to knock through that. And then we're also gonna be focusing on getting it a little bit icier. And we're just gonna kind of give her a total refresh. So we are going to start with the foil placement and show you what we are going to do. Okay, so starting off this process, obviously all of the foiling and the breakdown of that part is going to be in Jesse's video, but I kind of wanted to include a little bit just so you guys know what's going on. We started off with a full baby light with OxyCure 20 volume and of course our go-to Olaplex. And we're basically trying to baby light the smallest sections and kind of pack in those highlights everywhere that we can. After that, we did go through with a paint between a Goldwell Colorant 7 and A, and that's just going to help counteract the warmth and the banding that she had from the dropouts from the foils. And now that we have completely let her process, we have washed her at the shampoo bowl one time just to remove any impurities and make sure all of that light in her and color is out of her hair. So we have a fresh blank canvas to go ahead and tone on. What we've done is covered her mids to ends in Olaplex number two. This is going to not only give her a treatment, but it's also going to be act as a barrier for whenever we are going through root smudging her so the root doesn't transfer to those mids and ends that are really blonde and we don't have any splotchy marks or anything like that. Our formula today that we're using is Goldwell Colorant 7N with 7NA. We're using a little bit more 7 and A than 7 N just to go ahead and counteract any warmth that is left at the root that we've been trying to correct throughout this whole process. And then we even threw in a dash of 6 and A from Retkin Shades EQ. And I know it can seem a little bit crazy and almost against the rules to go ahead and mix color lines, but honestly, things like this can make the biggest difference. I always say, as long as you know the rules, it's okay to break them. And it did turn out perfect for her. So we are going through everywhere, taking super small sections, making sure that no hair is left behind just because we want to make sure that everything is evenly saturated, especially whenever it comes to color corrections like this. You want to make sure that you're going through touching every hair, every hair gets colored so you can enhance the tones that you want to and counteract the tones that you don't want to. That's why we're going in with a little bit of 7N to help neutralize it because her natural level is about a 6, 7, and we're going through with a ton of ash just because she does have a lot of warmth up top towards her scalp just because her hair was a little stubborn with lifting and she had a lot of tones to correct and some banding and even in the back, some pink spots and even like a little bit of green in there, which was a little bit strange. So that 7 and A and then that 6 and A is going to help just counteract everything and hopefully we get the tone that is gonna be desired it's going to also help soften the foil line so whenever her hair does grow out it's not going to be a harsh line she can go a little bit more in between color appointments since this root is just going to help blend everything together All right, so now that we have let that root sit on for about 10 minutes, it is processing very nicely. We went ahead and mixed up a toner for her mids and ends. So what we are using is Retkin Shades EQ 9P, 10VV, and 10P. Now these are a lot of ash tones just to go ahead and counteract anything. The P's are violet and blue based, so they're going to be counteracting any yellow tones or any orange tones in the hair. And then the 10VV is a double violet, so it's really going to go through there and ash out anything that is just yellow and needs to be corrected i love the level 10s by retkin shades eq because i feel like they get the job done without being too overly powerful i bet it could be a little bit scary to add all these p's and double v's into a formula without it going gray but i promise you go ahead and try out 
the level tens because they are just like kind of like soft and gentle but have a good punch to them without overtoning too quickly so we're just going to be taking her hair in sections and just really saturating and working it in through her mids and ends and then kind of blurring it together for her root melt is into that mid and end toner and letting this sit there's no amount of time that we're going to be leaving this on for we're just going to be watching it playing it by eye but like i said in my last video that little rule of thumb that Jesse taught me is leave your toner on until it looks scary and then leave it on one extra minute and then you should be ready to roll. As we are watching it and kind of running our hands through it, watching it process, we have noticed that it still has a little bit of warmth at the root. So we're going to be going through with our little trick that I love to do and it's taking Fanola sulfate-free vegan purple shampoo and almost doing like a little bit of a headband with it. So we're literally just processing this applying it to her hairline and kind of rubbing it in and i just call this a fanola headband i don't feel like this is like a special technique that it has like a proper name or anything but it does work wonders as you can see take a good look at it kind of before and see like there's a lot of warmth and we're just going to be brushing it through and letting it sit just for about five to ten minutes at the most it just depends on client per client and then we're just going to go ahead and keep watching it let it process trust the process whenever it comes to toning and then after that we can go ahead and get into styling her up we're also going to be adding a few extensions in her today and then i cannot wait for you guys to see the after because honestly i was shocked whenever i saw it We are going to start off by styling her with my favorite way to do a blowout. It is going to be super nice and smooth on her mids to ends, but up top and around her face frame, she's going to be having a lot of volume. I actually have a full tutorial on this over on my IGTV over on Instagram, so I'm going to be linking it below if you guys want to break down on that process. Be sure to check it out. And then Jesse and I are just going to be tag teaming her extensions. We are going to be doing two rows of Jay-Z Styles extensions in the color the Cora, which we purple shampooed as well with the same purple shampoo we use for that headband. Fanola is for sure our go-to. And what we're going to be doing is applying these two rows. And then off of that, we're going to be adding in a few tapes in the front just to fill it out a little bit more where she has a little bit of breakage and a little bit of shorter pieces. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited about the way this turned out. And we are going to be inserting her reaction, actually, because she has not seen any of this, the color, the extensions, or anything until the very end. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that right here. Blonde bombshell. I also got a group back. Yeah. <laughs> so. We just canceled Elsa. Okay. You ready to see it? it? All right. You ready? Are you Am ready? I ready? Yes. You better yes. be ready. <laughs> Let's spin her around. What? Oh, she hates it. Shut up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm back. <laughs> um, hair done by Jay Z. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I can look like I could work for you. I, <laughs> <laughs> I look like I look like the group. We put our stamp on you for I sure. I am dying. This yeah. is like a whole transformation. Like you're a new person. I am, I am part of the group. This is probably who you were meant to be. Okay. I think maybe I should change my last name to Styles now. <laughs> She's like, I'll be the Myrtle Styles. Beach Styles. <laughs> You're gonna have the Myrtle Beach spinoff. Oh my God, please! Oh, it's oh so god. pretty. Oh my God, can I hug you? Yes. Guys? I can't believe we got it. <laughs> You guys, this after is everything. I'm so happy we, we were able to achieve this look in one session for her. She definitely deserved it. She is such a sweetheart. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything from it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below of what you want to see in the future on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.